I see a system of equations. I'm jumping straight to Desmos. I'm going to plug in my first equation, ax minus by equals 52. Uh, add my sliders. And for my second equation, 2ax uh, minus 8y is equal to 44. We'll jump back. We'll get some context now. So they say we have a system of equations, and they intersect at the point x5. So remember that y is a 5 here. So I'll jump back to Desmos. And I'm going to just throw in, we know they're going to intersect at this line somewhere. I'll try to zoom out and see if we can see our functions here. Here they are. So we want them to intersect at this line. And any extra info, they say one of the values below is B. So this is going to be one of those ones where since we have two constants that we don't know what their values are, we can kind of use our answers to help us here. So we'll jump back to Desmos and we're going to start with, well, when B is equal to 5, can I find a point where these intersect? So I'm going to zoom out a lot. And I'm going to scroll through values of A to see if it looks like they're going to intersect. And this is going to be one of those ones where it's going to be more when we see the answer, you're going to understand how these lines should look. They don't look like they're going to ever intersect here. We'll go through the other ones just to see how they seem. So when B is 2, does it look like these two are going to intersect? So they're intersecting beyond Y equals 5. But look what happens when it tries to reach Y equals 5. They like start to break apart, right? So we'll try B equals negative 4. And this one's even weirder. Look, they they intersect right after y equals 5, right below the line, and they stay intersecting right below the line. And again, once you kind of see it, you'll know what to look for in the future. When it is b is equal to 2, look how much my a is intersecting. It's always intersecting. So, well, not always. Most of the time, it's intersecting this y equals 5. So it's never going to be just a coincidental single point that they're going to intersect at your correct B. You're going to see tons of A values where they intersect at the correct B. So jumping back to our problem here, it's just going to be D, B equals negative 2.